but you told me to dress up in a costume, so I dressed up in a costume. I'm Jojo Rabbit. Yes, I saw the film, and you know, it was between this or Hitler, so you know, I think I made the right choice here. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to The Fourth Wall, where we break down movie news and give you reviews for new releases. I'm your host, Mason Brown, and today I'm going to be giving you my review for the new Taika Waititi movie, Jojo Rabbit. By the way, this will be a spoiler-free review, so if you haven't seen the movie yet but still want to, no worries. Keep watching. And yes, I will be keeping this on my head the entire time. Thank you very much. You're just going to have to live with it. Now, I have to admit, I've been excited for this movie ever since I heard who was attached. I really like Taika Waititi's creative style, and he has a presence and personality that you can't help but love. I will admit, I haven't seen a whole lot of his other works, but I've seen a number of interviews and presentations by him, and, and his sensibilities and his sense of humor will take him far. I mean, he's already a top director in Hollywood and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I still have high hopes for him. However, the material that Taika Waititi is taking on with this film is no joking matter. It's still a very contentious subject matter, even today, with the resurfacing of more neo-Nazi sentiments and pockets around our country and fear of nationalism and patriotic fever still felt today. Not to mention the millions of lives affected by the atrocities of the Nazi regime prior to and during World War II. So I had a couple of fears going into this film that the horrors of the Nazi regime and World War II were going to be made light of. But I thought I'd better experience the movie for whatever it offered and give a fair review after. And I am happy to say that this movie does a fantastic job dancing between the joking and the jarring, the humor and the horrors. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of self-deprecating humor made by the Nazis and some truly absurd and farcical comments made about the Jewish people. But Taika never shies away from the evil of the Third Reich. I have to give Fox Studios, now owned by Disney of course, props for not shying away from a film made up almost entirely of Nazis, not to mention Hitler himself. So what is this film about? Uh, well, in the simplest terms possible, this film, based off the book Caging Skies by Christine Leunen, is about a 10-year-old German boy named Jojo and his escapades at the end of World War II. He idolizes the Nazis, even going so far as to join the Hitler Youth at the beginning of the film, while receiving life advice from his good friend Adolf Hitler. I mean, not really Hitler, it's clearly a young boy's impression of what Adolf Hitler would be like, which as far as imaginary friends go is pretty intense. I mean, the only imaginary friend I had growing up was an invisible horse named Nobody, and if anybody asked me who I was playing with or who I was talking with, I would just say Nobody. True story. But the true crux of the film is when Jojo discovers that his mother is harboring a Jewish refugee, a young woman named Elsa, no relation. Jojo must wrestle against everything he has been taught and everything he believes to try to come to terms with why his mother would allow one of these creatures to live in his house and must question his own loyalty to his country and to his family. The film Jojo Rabbit sports an excellent cast from stars like Scarlett Johansson as Jojo's mother, Sam Rockwell playing the drunken Captain Klensendorf, and Rebel Wilson playing the hilarious Fraulein Rom, to new faces like Roman Griffin Davis as Jojo and Thomasin McKenzie playing Elsa. This movie really showcases the talent of its ensemble. Not to mention Taika Waititi's unforgettable portrayal of the imaginary Adolf Hitler, which in my opinion steals the show. Given such difficult material containing laugh out loud comedy and cry your eyes out drama, this is no mean task for any of the actors in this film, but it all seems effortless in their capable hands. Taika Waititi really shows himself as a true master of tone and tone shifts in this movie as he seamlessly switches between humor and heartache within this film, ultimately leaving us satisfied. The humor hits most, if not every time, and little blink and you'll miss it references and Easter eggs make this movie a grand old time. However, it never shies away from the heartbreaking truths behind the antics in the film. At times you are at the edge of your seat or on the edge of tears as the film portrays what the times were really like outside the imagination of a young boy. The tears and fears felt and expressed by the characters are very real and never cut short for a laugh as can sometimes be detrimental to a film's emotional drive. 
In fact, I think the strength of the film is in its tonal shifts. The way the music heightens uh, each emotion before shifting to another really makes this feel like a roller coaster and one you never want to get off of. Is this a film for you? I say yes. This film made me laugh more than most films I've seen recently, but it also made me feel deeply for each of the characters. And yes, even some of the Nazis. Now, if you're looking for an accurate historical drama, first of all, what are you doing here? I mean, this certainly isn't Schindler's List, nor does it ever pretend to be. It's a story about the Nazi influences in Austria through the eyes of a young and impressionable boy. Many of the jokes and, and propaganda are obviously over the top and farcical, but some are not far off from the truth. And that's where some of the heartbreak comes in. In the end, this film is a rousing success, one that needs to be seen to be enjoyed. Obviously. I had hoped to see this movie a few weeks ago, but its initial release was so limited I had to wait a couple of weeks before it came to my area. But in the end, this film is worth the wait. If I were to rate this film, I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. What about you? Have you seen Jojo Rabbit? If so, what do you think? Do you agree with my review or did you have a different experience with this film? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And please, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out, especially as we get this channel going. I'm Mason Brown with The Fourth Wall. I somehow made it through this video with these bunny ears on my head. And we'll see you at the movies.